everybody, Lindsay from Painting with a Twist. Uh, so we are doing several Facebook Live videos for you guys so we can go over some tricks and things because we are doing paintings to go. Uh, you can look for those on our sister website, potterybyyou.com. Uh, so you can keep an eye out for all those. We're doing to go paintings. You can go on and see all of our painting options. Everything you need comes in the kit. Uh, but we are doing some supplementary videos because some of those techniques can just be a little more helpful if you see them in person, okay? So for this video, we're going to show you some techniques for blossoms and leaves, this kind of dabbed on texture, okay? And then I'm also going to show you how to do some happy little trees, little evergreen trees. It's a very, very simple technique, but I'm going to show you both of those right now, okay? So... We've got a tree already done, okay? So for this technique, it's really, really simple for our sort of dabbed on texture, okay? So all you're gonna do is make sure you get a nice little blob of paint, and I'm just gonna kind of tap. Now when you add your leaves on, you're gonna focus on the ends of your branches, okay? Now oftentimes, I see people start to line up their little leaves like soldiers. Don't do that. That's not how leaves grow. Okay? So let them get a little crazy. And I want you to kind of turn your brush every which way so you get lots of different shapes. It's going to look a lot more natural that way. You can kind of see, I really am treating this like confetti. We're going to go all over, okay? Just like that. Now, once you've done one layer, you can go right back in with another color. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of pink. And you can see, you can layer that right on top. It's so pretty on this background. Okay, so just keep bouncing that brush, turn things around. Now some of these, I'm gonna go right back in with some white. It's a really great technique to sort of double dip, okay? If you get a little bit of white and pink on your brush at the same time, it's totally fine. It's gonna look really nice with your blossoms. Okay, so once again, lots of different shapes. Keep bouncing your brush all around. Again, I kind of turn my brush every which way. You can see it looks a lot more natural that way. What I'm talking about when I say <laughs> kind of that um, unnatural look is when people start stamping and we get the same mark over and over, okay? So to kind of soften that again, just kind of twist your brush around, dab, 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 dab. Go nuts, get crazy. It's a really, really fun technique, okay? Now, another kind of leaves, our evergreen leaves, our little pine needles. Um, we are gonna show you how to do, where did I put you? My little happy trees, okay? It's a very, very simple technique. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm just gonna use a little bit of black and I'm gonna show you kind of how to do a basic silhouette. Okay, so for this one, I'm just gonna use my big brush. I need to rinse them off a little bit. So you can kind of see, we've got a nice big square brush and I'm just gonna take a little bit of black and with that edge, we're gonna kind of use this edge of your brush like a blade, okay? So what I like to do is put all my bristles straight on the canvas and we're just gonna pull straight down, okay? So you just have a line and that is more of a guideline. Don't think about that as your tree trunk necessarily. But then at the very top, I'm just gonna use this little corner of the brush, okay? So I'm not gonna use the entire face of those bristles, just this little corner. And just below the top, I'm just gonna kind of start tapping. And I'm just gonna tap, 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 tap. And as you work your way down, remember your trees can get wider as you go. So I am just tapping and working my way out. And you can kind of see, I'm actually blocking out that line that I started with. Okay, so don't be afraid of a little bit of texture. You can always go back in. You can always kind of add a little bit here. And if this happens, where, oops, you got rid of the top of your tree, it's nothing to worry about. What you're gonna do is go back in, create a new little top to your tree, and just kind of skinny it up. Again, just kind of use that little corner of your brush at the top. Now the great thing about trees is they don't need to be perfectly symmetrical. You can see my tree's a little wonky. They're gonna look a little more natural that way anyway. Okay, now in general, your trees can be a little more dense in the middle, so you could even kind of fill in like that and then bring your texture over the top. We can kind of see, I'm just tapping, tapping, tapping. You just need to worry about this kind of creating a silhouette. Okay, don't worry about too much texture, a little bit of my wet white paint is coming through there too. Oh, and I've added a little friend on that side. Okay, so don't worry about that. You can kind of see, we're just going for a nice bit of texture at the edges 
and just let it get gradually a little wider. Now when you add another tree next door, let's say, you have a different height, okay? These can actually run right into one another. Again, I started with just at that little corner, just tapping all the way down, let it get a little wider. I'm gonna focus on those edges just a little bit. Oh, and I need to make him a little taller too. It's kind of funky painting at this angle. Okay, there you go. We like some little crooked leaves too. Okay, but make sure they run right into one another. It's okay if you're doing that. Okay, now if you are adding texture, now sometimes you're gonna be adding this with a little bit of another color. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of green and you're gonna do the same thing right on top. And I'm just gonna kind of tap with that little brush. Okay, we're just gonna tap in a little bit of texture all throughout. And you can kind of see, you don't have to cover up all those darker colors. We're just gonna put that right on top and it's gonna create a really nice kind of natural look. Okay, the nice thing about trees is they can look like anything. There's no perfect trees in the world. They all come in different shapes and sizes. You can have little crazy branches hanging up or a bare patch, you know, it's not gonna matter too much, okay? So don't worry about perfection. We're going for just happy trees. It's your world. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy those techniques. It's two very easy methods for some leaves and different kinds of trees. Uh, we've got lots of landscapes that you can choose from and they're really, really fun. It's a great way to relax and get a little creative while you're stuck at home, while we're all self-isolating. I hope you and your families are staying safe and that you get a chance to have a little bit of creative fun.